Hello there. So I'm going to watch and riff on the 1999 Patrick Stewart version of A Christmas Carol. I've seen a lot of versions over the years, but this one's probably my favorite, and it's definitely prime material for riffing, so it should be a decent time. And we're back. I'm not convinced the drapes are keeping out the moisture. Cameraman, you want to get a little closer? but a short time to live, and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. <laughs> Not the cheeriest of verses, fair to say. I can hardly believe that Mr. Marley's gone. He's at peace, Mr. Crump. He's nowhere, sir. You know, Truth the sad thing dead. is no one has had the dead heart to say door, anything man. to the vicar about his sideburns. Don't know what's particularly dead about a doornail. Come to think of it, I wouldn't think that a doornail was the Speaking deadest of piece of ironmongery in the trade. Dopey dwarf over Why here. Why not say dead as a door knob? Or a door knocker? Nail knob on knocker. Jacob's gone. There's an end to it. A mighty poor turnout for such an important businessman. Perhaps it was because of the day he died. The day he died, sir? Christmas Eve. It would account for the lack of grieving relatives. At least he was spared that in his final hours. Great loss, sir. We leave you to grieve in silence. The firm of Scrooge and Marley will miss your shrewd brain and keen eye, Jacob. We went through some hard times together, but we pulled through, and we thrived on the idleness of others. Rest content, Jacob. The firm we built together will prosper. I promise. And now, our story. <laughs> I'm guessing the movie's not about that character. Out for the dung pile. Yeah. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas, sir. Jog on, you cunt. That was the well known Dutch author.
<coughs> I was wondering, sir, if after seven years you'll be removing Mr. Marley's name from the sign outside. No. Time will erase it at no cost to us. Yes, sir. Damn you, coal scuttle. You've betrayed me. I was just getting some coal, sir, for the fire. It's going out. Poke it, sir. Poke it! <laughs> nice job. He really has poor man's gloves. That is a fabulous hat. A Merry Christmas, Uncle! God save you! Christmas a humbug, Uncle. You don't mean it. I do mean it, sir. Merry Christmas. What reason have you to be merry? What right have you to be merry? His You're hat, poor. clearly. Well, what right have you to be miserable, then? You're rich. Merry Christmas. Damn your Merry Christmas. What's Christmas time to you but a time for paying bills without money? A time for finding yourself a year older and wow, not an hour Wow, this has clearly richer. been brewing. Time for balancing your books and finding every item dead against you. If I had my way, every idiot who went around with Merry Christmas on his lips would be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Come, <laughs> now that if might you be keep extreme. Christmas in your way, I'll keep it in mine. But you in don't the keep it. Then let me leave it alone. Then. I still Again, say Merry in the Christmas. Cupboard. That's all you do say. Much good it does you. Much good it'll ever do you. I dare say there are many things I got a lot of good from which haven't made me a penny profit. Christmas like Monty amongst... Python. You see, Uncle, I've always thought of Christmas as a time for good, not a time for profit. A kind, forgiving time. Cratchit creeping in. A time in. when men and women can think of others. <laughs> I love the gesture pocket, of turning sideways Christmas when someone's talking good, to you. And will do me good. So I still say, Merry Christmas, Uncle. Let's start doing it more often. You said something, Mr. Cratchit. Well, strictly speaking, no, you but... sound out of you, sir, and you'll make this a truly merry Christmas by losing your job. Uncle, don't be hard on Mr. Cratchit. It's all my fault. Well, you're quite the powerful speaker, sir. Wonder you don't go into Parliament. <coughs> don't be angry, Uncle. Dine with us tomorrow. Dine with you? I'll see you damned first. But why? Why did you marry? Because I fell in love. Because you fell in love. <laughs> love. Oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, so you won't come to see me because I'm married? Yes. Well, you never came to see me when I wasn't married. Got him. Good afternoon, nephew. I want nothing from you. I ask nothing of you. Why can't we be friends? Good afternoon. I'm sorry you're so stubborn. But I came here full of the Christmas spirit, so I say again, Merry Christmas, Uncle. Good afternoon. And a happy new year. Good afternoon. But I guess that's standard. Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Cratchit. You know, for people who have Merry Christmas, anyway. sir. 